Lovely, and it goes perfect with the Hi guys, it's your girl Call Me A Jungle and I'm back with another video. Now as you can see here, these are my little items that I made for 2023. So I'm going to show y'all, I don't know if I'm going to go in order, but yeah. So I have a little bit more, it's like maybe like two more items that I have but I cannot find it. So I just put a picture of like the main one one I really really like. So I guess we can start with the hats because that's easy. Like you know. So I'm going to. Should I just leave it here? I don't know. I don't want to be a distraction so I'm going to put it over here. Okay so. Hat number one. Oh, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Camille Jungle. I post every Thursday at 3 p.m. Inshallah, I can keep up with that of every week, because you know. And warning. <laughs> warning. My twins is going to be home for a whole week next week, so I may not have a video for next week. So I might try to push in, like, another video, probably, like, today or tomorrow, so I can, like, keep up with the flow. So, yeah, y'all, yeah. <laughs> that's what I got going on. So this is the hat. A crochet hat that I had made during like the summertime I think I believe so and uh, I wore it like once I believe and I used a 4.5 but I kind of wish I did a 5 because I noticed that when I do like solid roundabout hats that's like just fitting not like the girly hats that I have it's better for me to use a 5 rather than a 4.5 if you understand what I'm trying to say because a 5 with like a roundabout hat like this you have more space on your head but if you were to do like a wavy brim or granny square or um, the ruffle hat I recommend 4.5 because you have more space within that hat from the way it's made and you're doing double crochet now with this hat i only do half double crochet so that's why it comes out more smaller so i recommend doing the 5 mm if you're doing half double crochet but if you're doing like a, a double crochet then 4.5 is just fine so yeah this is my checkered hat that i have i love 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 it came out so lovely and it goes perfect with this cardigan that i have <laughs> So yeah, that's hat number one. Hope I have it on correctly. So cute, right? I love this. So, I guess I'll, okay, whatever. Now, hat number two, we have this pink and brown. Like, Phil, I love this. I have wore this for Harlem week. Um, last year in 2023 I don't know if anybody knows but if you are from New York City every year in August it's an event called Harlem Week they do it for a whole entire month but during but the main main thing people go to from my understanding and my knowledge is that we it's like from I think it's Saturday and Sunday are the main two things days where people are selling like different items that they have to sell to people if they have bags jewelry uh if they have the events that's coming up they have like games for kids and stuff they give out free stuff like book bags basketballs and things like that and you can sign up for stuff if you're interested in it it's just like a lot and last year was amazing i saw all of my beautiful black people okay it was just a good good time so this following august my plan is to be out there selling my crochet and knitted items so inshallah it goes well okay so this is the brown and pink checkered hat that i had made isn't it so lovely like these checkered hats look so nice on me like okay i really love this now my hair is up kind of high so it's not really sitting correctly but I feel like it looks pretty good for right now. Okay, we love that. Now I have my fun granny square hat. Now this is my first granny square hat I ever made and I definitely, definitely 
want to make more because granny square hats are so fun now i also did this with a 4.5 and i put this on my head so many times and it still fits really really nice okay so if, i feel like if you use a five it might stretch out way too much in my opinion i could be wrong but i don't know i'm kind of nervous to use a five with granny squares <laughs> i don't know but I love this a lot it's still like nice it's not like out of place anything but do, when you do take off your hats it is gonna look like kind of wonky and like really big but I'm telling you right now when you put your hat back on your head it's gonna look like nothing ever went wrong like, okay cuz I put this on multiple times I wore this outside and everything I took pictures in it no I did a video with it <laughs> and it still looks really really good okay now the key to for my head shape because I have an oval head shape, I put my hair up in a certain way. Like I put my ponytail like right here, and it's kind of like the center of my head. So if I was to put a hat on, it would look nice and like I don't know how to like it would structure my face better. You know, if you understand what I'm trying to say, um, inshallah, I'm explaining it correctly. But yeah, it's a certain way you have to put your hair up or down. And when you want to put a hat on, it's going to sit right on your head to where you won't have to like keep fixing it and things like that. So, and I think I'm too close. So, let me move this chair. So, yeah. This is it. Do another twirl. <laughs> okay, I want to make yes i definitely have to make more of these like ugh, i have a lot of these two yarns so we might be making a lot more of these okay also another thing before i move on to my next item i want to say that i am selling my crochet I don't know if I'm going to do knitted. Okay, yes. I'm doing crochet and knitted items that I am going to sell. I made a deep pop, but there's nothing on there yet, but it's created. So I'm going to be selling hats, scrunchies, um, my heart, and now I want to do headbands. So it's like all the fun accessories you can wear. And with my hearts, it's going to be created as a keychain. So you can put on your bag, your book bag, and things like that. So that's what I have going on. And it's all going to be on my deep pop for right now because website is like too much for me right now so we're gonna start off slow with deep pop okay so i will let y'all know and i will just put my, all of my i will just put all of my information in the description in the <laughs> description below so y'all can just check me out see my style and things like that now in this video you're already starting to see my style within with my hats so yeah now we're gonna get into clothing okay so here is a, this is like a summer top that I had made, and we're going to put it on. Look how lovely this is. Like, I cannot wait until the weather gets warmer. I'm tying it in the back because it's like a tie in the back you have to do. I want to make this in like more colors, but I don't really know what color. Maybe like a pretty green. I don't know. Pink is like the best for my skin tone, in my opinion. So yeah, this is made by Cara, and I love this so much. Now, I had made this probably during, like, I don't really remember. I would have to check, but it's poss it possibly could have been during the springtime. So this is it. I don't know if I can turn around, because I don't want y'all to... Oh, nope. See, my skin is showing a little bit, so in the back, you know? I know I've got like going on over here, but... This is a, what would you call this, like a top? I wouldn't really necessarily call it a vest, because it's not really a vest. I would just say like a, a knitted top. You can wear this during the spring, and I would wear this even during the summertime too. Even like fall, possibly. Do you know fall is like, it's cool, but it's not so cold. And this is with chunky yarn, so you can get away with it. But it's giving off summer vibes, so I would recommend spring and summer, especially with these clouds. I don't know. Would that be weird, wearing an item with clouds on it during the fall and winter? <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, this is what I have. It's so cute. I love it. Okay. Okay, so this possibly is like one of my favorite items that I had made and I definitely made this during the summertime of 2023 okay so here's a turnaround 
And my favorite part is the collar, of course. Like the collar, just like it gives like 1960s through 1970s vibes, a hundred percent, like a thousand percent. And I'm also making it in blue, okay? Because I don't really have anything in blue when it comes to like just me crocheting or knitting, okay? I don't have anything in blue. It was just so weird. Like, I wasn't really, like, into blue to begin with. But I said, let me start getting into colors I don't really wear where it would still match my skin tone. Now, I have noticed that when it comes to my skin tone, mostly pastel colors like the light, pretty colors. Like, deep colors look nice for me, too. But I would have to, like, put it with something that would complement it as well. But... Yeah, so mainly like the pastel colors, like the pinks, the purples, uh, like beige looks good on me, like this color looks good on me. It just depends on like what shade it is, but mainly like the pastel light pretty colors look really, really nice on me. So, yeah. So this is what I have going on. I got these buttons from Amazon. Yeah, I get most of all of my buttons from Amazon. It's easy and things like that. Not stressful at all. So, yeah, this is another item that I had made. Okay, so here is another item that I had made. <laughs> Please forgive me because this is like a lot to like kind of put on. So, yeah, I'll just put a picture so y'all can see like the full vision of it. But yeah, this is what I had made. It's like definitely 1970s top like it just screaming 1970s and this was my very 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 first raglan top and I'm so proud of myself for like being able to make this because one thing with knitting that I was like kind of like afraid of was doing top down raglan just top down in general because I don't know my brain wasn't like making the connection of like how to like like the left leaning left and then the right leaning right if I'm even saying that right it's M L it's M one L and then M one R and that those two was driving me crazy in a certain way especially in the roundabout part. I feel like I was melting on this <laughs> but I had help not really necessarily with this one but when I was doing my twins cardigan I had a lot a lot of help and I appreciate like the people in the knitting and crochet community because they help we help each other a lot. Okay, so yeah, this is the beautiful top that I had made. So okay, so I also had made this. I was a test knitter for this item, and. One thing I wish I would have did was made the neck longer. It's kind of like a turtleneck look to it. But I was like such in a rush to finish it. I didn't even think to make it longer. Because at the time that I did make it, I wanted like a short neck. But now that I'm like thinking about it later on, I wish I would have made the neck longer. Like I always fix it, but am I really going to do it? Probably not. <laughs> so yes, yeah, this lady that I follow on Instagram and she was looking for test knitters and I said oh girl I want to do it and she picked, of course like I said in like a professional way and things like that but she had chose me and yeah I love this a lot and also I wish I would have made it like longer too but you know this was like my second time being a test knitter if I'm not mistaken I've, I've been a test knitter for like maybe three to four times I believe so so yeah this is it I love like the details of like the center part here as you can see it's so pretty like I love this cable stitch like there's so many beautiful cable stitches that you can do and this one is so gorgeous okay I love 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 this a lot okay so yeah this is it okay so this one I was like, when I seen this, I said, oh my gosh, I have to have this in my life. Because, like, look at this sleeve. The sleeves got my attention the most, okay? So, this is another knitter that I follow. I love her work. And she's more into, like, thinner yarns now. But her chunky yarn work is, like, gorgeous to the max. Like, how can you not love this? The sleeves are just so fun. 
it's so fun okay so pink and beige is the way to go because they complement each other very very well okay so okay guys we have one last item and we are coming to an end are you guys sad we're coming to an end <laughs> Now this one, I feel like it's so big at the bottom, but it's still really, really nice. I think this pattern was by another knitter. There's so many knitters that I follow, y'all, so I can't really keep up, but this is it. This is a vest with buttons on it, two buttons that I have chosen. I get all my buttons from Amazon once again. And yeah, I just love the dark pink and the light pink together. Now, I didn't really think the dark pink would look nice on my skin tone. But it actually came out pretty, pretty good. So, I love, love, love this. It was really, really fun and quick to make. That's one thing I love about truck and yarn. It's fun and it's quick to make, okay? Alright guys, so that is the ending of this video. I hope you liked and enjoyed what it has so far for 2023. And I have so many much more beautiful things to come for 2024. You know, we just gotta come back better than ever. We gotta come back better than before, okay? So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next one.